So trade conflicts has really placed a spotlight on global companies because it has pushed the strategy behind what companies need to have over the next five to 10 year period. They cannot do the same thing that they did five years ago. They have to be more nimble. They have to have backup plans. They have to have different supply chains. They have to really meet the needs on the price perspective and the consumer needs perspective. Consumers are leading the way when it comes to holding companies accountable for their corporate social responsibility. They are wanting to see what kind of impacts that the corporate company is doing for good in their home country, their local community, and across the globe and how they influence that, not just from their products. My view is that this actually changed the way we use tariffs going forward. It hasn't really been used in that perspective before. It's always been as an economic tool. It has kind of set a precedence on how it will be used potentially in the future. One of the things companies can do to help lower risk is to revisit their global strategy more often than they did in the past. Things are moving ever fast, especially when you talk about how connected we are in a global economy, from social media to even the way that we do payment systems now from a click of a button. By revisiting these type of strategies, when you have unpredictable trade negotiations, you'll have different avenues that you can actually focus on and retool your actual overall company outlook.